Hey fam, today we're going to discuss The Whispering Dead, which is the first book of the Gravekeeper series, so let's go. Homeless, hunted, and desperate to escape a bitter storm, Kira takes refuge in an abandoned groundskeeper's cottage. Tucked away at the edge of a cemetery, it's surrounded on all sides by gravestones, some recent, some hundreds of years old, all suffering from neglect. And in the darkness, she can hear the unquiet dead whispering. The cemetery is alive with faint spectral shapes led by a woman who died before her time. And Kira, the only person who can see her, has become her new target. Determined to help put the ghost to rest, Kira digs into the spirit's past life with the help of unlikely new friends and discovers a history of deception, ill-fated love, and murder. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been kidding. But the past is not as simple as it seems, and Kira's time is running out. Tangled in a dangerous web, she has to find a way to free the spirit, even if it means offering her own life in return. Um, real talk, it... I feel like she was checking off all of the boxes for me, but I just, like... I couldn't get into it. It just wasn't happening. I don't know if I wasn't in the mood, if it just wasn't my flow of focus or what. And like, I, I rated it three stars. So, you know, I don't dislike it. Um, and uh, by the time I reached the end, I was invested. So there. Um, and I'm really looking forward to finishing this series, actually. I don't know. First of all, we start off and I was like, this is like, See Jane Run vibes, isn't it? Who the fuck wrote that one? Joy Fielding. Mother. Uh, okay, listen. The reason why I know that is Joanna Kearns, who played the mom on Growing Pains, totally played Jane. <laughs> the fucking made-for-TV movie. So it's like I, I had to get it. That was the first time I read that trope. <laughs> I had to take a break from it for a little bit and come back to it later. And uh, that, that, was, that was the way to go, apparently. I just needed a little breaky poo. So that's why I think I just wasn't, it wasn't the right mood, it wasn't the right time, and that's on me. Okay, if I can get a bit spoilerific with you. Wait, what was that asshole's name? The one that freaking Gavin. Fuck Gavin. What the hell? Yeah, like, are we really not going to... That motherfucker got laid the fuck out and came back for more. Do you really think he's done? <laughs> Another thing that might have been my problem is when I began reading this book, I noticed that there was a bit of a smell to my copy and that really fucked with me, so. But like the town, the residents, the characters are intriguing. I don't know. And the other aspect or reason why I kept thinking of CJ and Run is that I just, I have trust issues, okay? So I don't trust any of these motherfuckers and I'm looking at Mason like you. I don't fucking trust you. You're too close, you're way too close. <laughs> like the moment that you are introduced to a character that's, you know, seemingly safe, I'm just like, all right, is it, is it though? Is it though? I don't know. I don't think anybody's trustworthy in this shit. Fuck all of you. <laughs> This is a little too Twin Peaks for me. I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but I don't want to live there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, fuck that. Nope. 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 Oh, there's one point that kind of fucked with my immersion. Like, I was... I was going along, perfectly content to go along. And then, like, and it was like, ooh, GG, holy shit, whoa. And then the paragraph ended with clean ground, on the clean ground, wanting to get onto clean ground. And I was like... Clean ground. Clean. Is it clean? Is ground clean? Is it ground ever clean? If you're in the woods or something, like outside, is it's not clean. Something has definitely urinated there. I don't like this. 
I was stuck on this for a while, fam. <laughs> it like captured me. So I guess that part of the beginning got me. <gasps> Is it safe though? Is it? This is another spoilerific thing. There was an element that I'm pretty sure my brain was trying to protect me from. It was like, no, don't you X, Y, Z that shit. Don't do it. Stop. And then I got there and was like, I don't like that. <laughs> Immediately. I don't like that. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Darcy, no. You hurt me. Why? That was fucked. Anyway. So yeah, I'm looking forward to book two. I'm kind of miffed at myself for choosing for, you know, I, part of me kind of wishes I'd just gone with a book that's already been published for a while. That way, if there's anything to follow it up with, you know, but now I gotta wait with everybody else. And I hate this feeling. I don't like this feeling. I would just rather wait for the show to be done and then binge that shit. I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. There's a lot of setup going on here. A lot of setup. So, like, I want answers. I know she's going to give answers to every single freaking question that this book creates because she's really good at that long game shit. So I have faith. It's okay. Uh, yep. Until next time and beyond. Please take care, and I'll try as well.